about like a one third eclipse. Looks like someone took a bite out of the sun. One third right now so far? So it looks like, yeah. Do you know when the high point's supposed to be, the complete coverage? Mm, probably like 1120. But I don't know. So. Cool. Can you talk a little bit about the reading challenge? Yeah, so uh, Jaden and I partnered up to uh, work on Brian Driscoll and Coach Safel. Uh Coach Phil's my coach, so he kind of talked me into doing it a little bit. But yeah, Jaden and I are doing our doing the reading challenge this year, and we're going to go visit ele- Title I elementary schools and okay. talk about the benefits of reading and, of course, try and get them to go to our first game against UC Davis, which would be the ultimate goal to get them out and uh, give, some, give them some football experience and maybe even let them come on the field after the game once we get that win. Do you know if the current program is sort of an offshoot of the one that Patrick Laird started about yes, six years it is. ago? Okay. It's from Patrick Laird. Okay. So he, uh, he did the dirty work and then kind of took over with the help of the Cameron Institute over there. They're great help. But uh, yeah, Patrick Laird did the dirty work for sure. Have you had a chance to meet with any of the kids yet or teachers? That's our first our uh, first meetings today. I forgot which elementary school we're going to. Jaden and I are going today at about 3.30 and we're going to go read some books and, and uh, kick off the, the reading challenge. Are you a reader? Uh, I do read in the summer. That's I mean, you don't have time. Not really much time. Yeah, I read my textbooks. That's one. But sure. I'm reading uh, uh, the Count of Monte Cristo right now. Nice. Uh, so that's my fun. Can you talk about the uh, the eclipse a little bit? Yeah. I looked and what it was. Yeah, it was. You know, it's, it's bright. It's way brighter than usual. <laughs> don't but look at it now. Yeah, I know. I already uh, <laughs> saw. It looked like you know a little orange, but it looked like a uh, one third of it was covered and pretty cool. Enjoy. I feel like I, they talk about how it's once in a lifetime, but I've already seen three of them. So. <laughs> what do you think you'll find most rewarding about being in a leadership role with the reading program? I um, just want to give back to the community. Uh, that's the most important part coming here. And, you know, they do all this work for us. Berkeley does all this work for us. And I think it's a good look to give back and, you know, put the cow, cow title on you and, and go out to these schools and give back. All this stuff that we have here, all that's provided from the donors and from the coaches and, all the staff, it's really important to get back. On the field, how are things different for you? I mean, last year there, there were a couple of um, portal guys uh, mm-hmm. that were older veteran players, and you were trying to assert yourself as a preferred walk-on, earned a scholarship, starting position. How is it different this year? Um, you know, not much has changed. I'm still trying to push myself to be the best I could always be. and uh, It just takes every day. It's a little harder with my schedule this year, doing the uh, Golden Buddies and the Reading Challenge, so I'm doing both of those. But I'm finding time, and I'm getting here earlier and staying later and take care of myself, pushing my teammates, Jeff and I and JT and Ben, you know, Nate, Marquise. We're all working as hard as we can. I think the tight end room looks really good this year. But uh, just trying to push myself to be the best I could be and, and keep challenging myself. I think last year, uh, you know, we had the older guys, Asher and, and, and JT, were taking the, the heavy reps against, like, you know, Xavier Carlton. Um, and this is where I want to be this year, challenging myself to compete against those two. Because, you know, X and Craig, those are the two guys I love going against the most because they are great players, you know. I'm just trying to push myself and give myself the best look I can. And I love going against those guys. So I just want to continue to challenge myself this year. You used to be a receiver, so obviously you've got the hands and the mm-hmm. feet. But how has your strength gained? Uh, oh, it's great. Strength gained this yeah, year? the strength, strength, uh, <coughs> strength staff has been killing it this year. All my numbers going up. You know, I had some knee problems last year, but now I'm feeling great. And uh, I mean, my squat's gotten so much stronger. My legs have gotten stronger. And I could really see it working. When I'm inline blocking, I feel a lot stronger and just a lot better and more mobile. Even though you were on the lighter side last season, you were known as a, a strong blocker. I mean, what do you attribute that to? Um, trying to attribute it to the techniques that I've learned from, you know, past coaches and coach the foul right now uh just try and try and do what i can you know I'm, of course i was two playing at 230 last year now i'm 240 but uh it was, it was hard and you know i had a lot of head hitting you know, i had a lot of head hitting um it was mostly my hands play with my hands and just play with my head to be honest with you and trying to get my feet behind but it was a challenge for sure to go against everyone that was just 30 pounds heavier i mean x was 40 pounds heavier than me not anymore but he was 40 so so it's not just 10 pounds that you've gained, you've gained strength, too. Oh, yeah. So that combo serves you well out there. Yeah, not only that, I think I've just gained more access to, like, my whole body playing more fluidly. And I think that's very important. I think you can be as strong as you want, but if you're not playing with, you know, your legs under you and, like, with just force, then I just don't think you can be as good. Where have you, with that added strength in pounds, where have you found the balance between being a powerful tight end in the blocking and being still nimble out in space when route running? I think that it, uh, I think being a powerful run blocker sets up for your routes, actually. Um, it just sets up space, whether you're 
not only like running run blocking but perimeter blocking as well when you're threatening these the dbs and safeties and whoever else when you're threatening them you could set yourself up to run routes you know when you when you see someone running full speed at you and you've been hit a couple times in the past plays and you might you know back up a little bit lose some ground and that's where i could probably get a step and just one step is enough to catch a ball